Meg, thank you. Billions of cicadas, yes, they are here. But some people are noticing if you look close enough, not all of them have the same look. Turns out a fungus is actually pushing them to be, some of them, to be hypersexual, and that makes them lose their stomach and reproductive organs. Their butt falls off, and it's this big, white, chalky mass that you see when you look at the end of the abdomen. But they still fly around, they can, they're still active. It's just, it, as I say, it's great for the fungus, not for the cicadas. I mean, can this story get any crazier? <laughs> Come on now. The good news that cicada expert says the fungus doesn't affect humans, so nothing to worry about here. All right, so you can, you can touch and play with the cicadas all you like, like this cute little girl here, three year old Harper, letting her new cicada friend crawl right up her arm. You are a brave girl. I was girl, just going to say, Harper might be more brave than a lot of us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, including me, who left that cicada under the cup. You were lucky you weren't here when Still Bob Turk brought it out. Uh huh. Maybe next week. Better, better Denise than I.